This right here is a 2014 Sony HDR PJ540. It's a 60 frames a second 1080p shooting camcorder that I do not recommend. <laughs> Honestly, unless you have this as your only camera and this was given to you, you don't have no other budget to go get another camera, this was kind of thrown in your lap, I'd say get it. Because it comes with a lot of features, the main one being this projector feature. I really was growing to love this, joy. It's pretty tough. I fucks with it. You can shoot up to 100 inches. And the screen swivel, so you can put it on the floor, you can put it on the wall. It does work a little better when you turn off the lights, but it's fully legible and you can see what's kind of going on if the lights are on. This one does come with a 26.8 uh, millimeter wide angle Sony G Zoom lens. And the sensor is an X Armor R CMOS sensor. This is a 1 5 8th. It's actually a little bit smaller, actually, quite a bit smaller than the iPhone 11. Up top, you got your WT for zooming in and uh, zooming out, as well as a photo button and a cold shoe mount. But the cold shoe mount is buried within the camera, so it makes it hard to mount stuff such as like a light or a microphone. But it's doable, it's there, it's possible. And now, moving to the back of the camera, we have a start, stop, record button. One tap to record, one tap to stop. You also have the battery and the DC in hides behind this door dcn is basically your alternative power if you don't want power with the battery and you want to continuously shoot plug it in there to remove the battery all you got to do is just pull the tab and pull backwards it'll pop right out and then put back in all you do is just align it and slide it right back in on the bottom you have a um, thread for mounting a tripod or a handle or grip, any type of rig attachments you might have i'm actually using an amazon basics tripod which comes in this nice clean brown bronze it's on Amazon for 11 bucks. Right next to that, you have some uh, product information such as the serial code and the voltage. And moving over to the right-hand side of the camera, you got another HDMI. You have a, a USB, which is like tucked away. I think this is one of my favorite features of this joint. I know I already said the projector, but I love how this thing has a sleeve for the USB. I don't have to go fumbling and looking for a USB to connect this thing. And it's dual function. Like you can charge it or you can uh, use it to move files either or from the camera to the laptop which is like a killer killer feature in the field when you're trying to edit your videos and photos also another feature that i like is that the battery doesn't take up too much consumption i was able to charge it off of this portable battery charger with that same usb and fill it right up only taking 25 percent of a 10,000 milliamp battery so about 3,000 milliamp uh discharge this camera is real light I think that the buttons are in almost the right position. It seems like I don't have to go too far to reach anything. The grip feels phenomenal. It's not heavy in the hand, it's real light. I feel like the ladies could even sport this. Over on the right hand side of this device, you have a power charge indicator, as well as an NFC, which stands for a near field communication. This is a feature that allows the uh, camera to give off a Wi-Fi signal and transfer files between the camera and whatever device you're connected, such as a cell phone. The screen, the screen, the screen. I like this thing, man, because it houses the projector, it swivels, and it's freaking touch screen. If you are not familiar with cameras, boy, you don't have to be. Um, Because a touch screen is just, it's a must have in uh, 2020. You can use this to touch and focus in. You can use this to go in your menu options and change up your frame rates. You can shoot anywhere from 24 to 60 frames a second at 1080p and 1080p only, not 4K, not 720. You can also adjust filters. This do recording mode. I'm not sure what the hell that means, but the filters come pre-installed. Like I said, you can shoot those in photo mode and video mode. So if you wanted to make your colors pop like that and take a video, you can do it on the Sony Handycam. Over on the left hand side, you have the Xmore R Brandon, that balanced optical steady shot. And right below that, you have a few buttons. You have a power to turn on and off the camera. You have a play button to play your uh, videos or look at your photos, as well as a facial recognition for the camera to uh, autofocus and recognize faces. You have a projector button. And to the right of that, behind the door, you have an input for headphones and audio. Below that are two inputs for uh, HDMI and your SD card slot. And guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I love this camera. I don't think it shoots the best, but I think it's a good uh, recreational camera. And 
Seeing as though it was in 2014, it was on camera maybe in 2014, but I don't recommend it to anybody today unless it's your only camera, unless it was given to you as a gift and you gotta make do with what you gotta do. All the information about this camera is in the description besides a link to where to purchase this camera. I'm not affiliated with Sony, even though I like their products. Maybe one day we can do a tag team uh, collab video. But until then, y'all, love y'all, be safe, peace. And let me know if y'all got any questions too. Comment, comment, comment.